Okay, Connor, so you've come from set three, so you did a higher tier exam in the summer where you got a grade D. Um, so let's see how you get on with this foundation tier paper. See your anticipating 70 which should be a, a, a rock solid C let's see how you get on it's good 244 and 23 41 and 12 36 right you haven't listed all the factors there you are missing 18 which also goes into itself once, so they'll pair off. So you have 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6. So there's one missing there. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to there. You'll only get one of the two marks for that because you've missed one out. 1, 3, 4, 6 is correct. 6, 3, 1, 4 is correct. 11 and 34 all right now for this one you're not going to get the mark for what you've written you have to write 8000 the value of the 8 it's in the thousands column but the fact that it is 8 makes it worth 8000 if it was a 3 it would be worth 3000 so you need to write that like that 0 0.75 0 0.77 is correct and then here mistake that you made here is that that is descending not ascending so you're going to lose a mark for having those in the wrong order and that one's right good so total for the first first page 10 12 14 16 67 is correct and then for this one right what you've done there is wrong okay what they're telling you is that the value of the term is 88 and if you look at the formula the value of the term is on that side you've put the number of the term equal to 88 so what you need to be doing there is setting up an equation so the value is 88 equals 7 times the number that's what we want to work out add 4 and then from there you would solve it like an equation so you would take the 4 um, and get rid of it by subtracting from both sides so you'd end up with 84 is 7 times n and then to get the n on its own you would need to divide by 7 to both sides so 84 divided by 7 would be n and then from there n would be 12 so you wouldn't get any marks for that so those are correct what you'd be looking for is to actually lay it out in the table okay so we'd be looking for a sort of tally chart Okay, so that's what you're looking for, but um, you probably would get the two marks for that. And then of the six marks, four of them are for the graph. Um, and for your graph, you won't get full marks because you haven't labelled your axes. So we'd be looking for that to be labelled, that to give it a context and numbers going up here so you've gone up in one square so you're going to lose two marks for the fact that you haven't labeled your axes your graphs are fine you should leave a gap between them but they won't penalize you for that so of the four there you're going to get two the mode is the most frequent not what you've done there um, so the mode there is going to be the bar that's the highest which is rugby
Um, 42 is correct. It's not asking you to write the unit, so you wouldn't get penalized for that. And the area is 54. It's asking you for the units and you've given them. Good. Six, eight for that page. Six X is correct. 66 is correct. Now, when you're plotting points, don't just put the letters where they are. Mark the points clearly with a cross and write the letters next to them. So what you should be doing is putting a cross there and writing C next to it. Putting a cross there and writing B next to it. And similarly, a cross on the grid and then labeling the point that you're marking. I'll give you the marks this time, but I would penalize that normally. Okay, your triangle is slightly out. Your angle is a little bit less than 54 degrees, but the length of it is nine centimeters. So of the three marks, you will lose um, one mark for uh, your angle. So that's slightly out, but the length is okay. So. And the special name given to angles which are greater than 180, but less than 360 is not acute. That's an acute angle, less than 90. What you're looking for there is a reflex angle. Total for the page, three, six, eight. Okay, we haven't done volume work yet, so we'll, uh, we will hopefully get a chance to look at this. But take a look at how I explain that on the video solution uh, on the class site and see if you can work it out yourself. That's good. And those are good. Four for the page. Okay. Let's check this one. So your points are slightly in the wrong place. That one and that one should be higher. So when you've got a question like this, first thing to do is to work out what each little square stands for. So when you're going up here, you're going up in 10 little squares, 0 to 10. So each square is one uh, unit. But in this, we're going up to 20 in 10 squares. So each little square is two units in that direction, one unit in that direction. So 114, 43, um, that's going to be 110. 14 is right, 43 is going to be another square up. So one, two, three, so it should be there. And this one, that one was okay. 85 is right, and 32 is again slightly up. So you're gonna get one out of the two marks for that. And then with a graph like this, what you have to do, they're giving you something that is off the scale But what you then need to do is scale it up. So 370 newtons won't fit on, but 37 newtons will fit on. So what you're going to do is read off 37 and then multiply your answer by 10. Okay, so again, if you're not sure about that, have a look at my solution on the site. So 1023, 2356 is correct. Three marks on that page. 10 out of 16 is correct. Um, don't write it as a decimal. There's no need to. Uh, let's just check what 10 over 16 gives you. It doesn't actually give you that, so what you've written down there is incorrect. Uh, and because of that, you would probably lose a mark, all right? So if they don't ask you to turn it into a decimal, don't do it. Um, 10 out of 16 is right. I'll give you both marks this time, but if I see that error in a future paper, I will have to um, penalize it. Now you're not showing me any method here, and your answer is wrong. Okay, what I'd be looking for there is for you to show me how you've arrived at that answer. And the way you will have arrived at that answer would either be 10 out of 16 times 80, or you would have cancelled that down to be 5 over 8, 
and do 5 over 8 times 80. No method, I can't give you any marks. Um, 8 times 90 is not 79 pound 20. 9 8 is 72 and then it will be followed by two zeros. Your method is right but your multiplication is wrong. You've then done 55 times one pound 20 with an incorrect answer from above but that's fine your method will be right for that and then you've correctly taken those away but your values are wrong. So you're only going to get one mark for that for your um, method which is right. That is right, well done. So three, six for that page. 54 is correct. You got this the wrong way around. It should be 180 take away 126. But it doesn't matter. You've got that right. This is wrong and you haven't shown me any methods. You're not gonna get any of the marks for that. The method for this is that you need to know that inside a four-sided shape, a quadrilateral, the angles all add up to 360. So A, if that was A, B, C, and D, A plus B plus C plus D must add up to 360. So if you take those away from 360, it'll give you that inside angle there. Once you know what that inside angle is, you know it's a straight line, take it away from 180 and it will give you your answer. So you need to add up these three, take them away from 360 to get that, and then take that away from 180 to get that. Give it a go, see if you can get it right. Question 14 is a scatter graph. So let's see how you've got on here. So you, that's perfect. So all your plots, all your points are plotted in the right place and your line of best fit is good as well. It is positive correlation. You've done that and you've estimated on a Friday that there are 90 customers, 450 pounds, which is good. What I would suggest is that you mark that on the graph so the examiner can see where you're reading from. So total for the page, two, four, six, seven approximately how much does a customer spend on average in the sandwich shop on a Friday so what I would suggest you do there is again make life easier for yourself um, and find out what 60 customers do and then to find one you would divide by 60 but the easiest one would be to find out what 100 so 100 customers on a Friday would spend 500 pound so you then divide the 500 by 100 to get roughly five pound per person so again take a look how I do that on the on the video okay question 15 uh, mana water 42 it should be euros, not pounds, but they won't penalise you for that. So that bit is correct. Channel water is 14 euros plus the 30 euros, which is 33. But then I'm not sure what you've done there. You've taken 10 off for some reason. Um, but what you have to do is take off 20%. So first of all, 10% would be £4.40. So 20% will be 880. So the discount that comes off that will be um, 880, not 10 like you've done. Then you come to the conclusion that um, it is a better cost overall, which is correct. So for this question, you're gonna get two marks for correctly working that out. You're gonna get two marks for correctly working that out. You're then gonna lose two marks because you haven't worked out the percentage correctly and then as far as communicating is concerned um, you're not going to get all of the marks of the communication because you haven't explained to me what you've done there if you explained to me how that had happened where that 
um, drop came from even though you did it wrong you'd be communicating what you needed to do so of the refining uh, the remaining three you're only going to get one for the actual communication there so one two three four five marks on that page your method is right and you put it in index form well done this is quite a tricky question have a look how I do it on the um, the video clip but just to quickly explain it all you're looking at there is straight lines and this these little dashes are telling you that that's an isosceles triangle so taking that off 180 because it's on a straight line will give you that angle in the isosceles taking that off 180 will tell you what both of those add up to and then you divide that by 2 to work out what angle P is on this side because those are parallel if that is 50 that one is 50 in there as well that then puts that inside an isosceles triangle so you take 50 away from 180 divide by 2 and it will give you that angle then you know two of the angles in the corners of the big triangle take those away from 180 and what you're left with is X so have a go at doing that yourself okay so total for the paper you were hoping for 70 I don't think you're gonna get 70 but it's not a bad attempt 16 oops for 20 28 36 40 43 59 um, I want to do that right sorry 16 20 28 36 40 43 49 56 61 64 so you're not far off with that and 64 is a grade C so that's a really good start. Well done.